once all the required straps and rings are in place and the recovery vessel is um, is in its location and everything is attached, we'll actually see that recovery team member um, jump off from the capsule and into the water. It's one of my favorite moments of the recovery process. I think we might, yep, there they are. The dolphins are, are back to play. We now have a better view of them. I'm sure they're very intrigued by um, all the lights that are in the area here in the middle of the night in Southern California. If you've just recently joined us, uh, you're tuning in at a great time. We're in the final phases of the uh, Crew 11 return to Earth. They had an on-time splashdown at 12.41 a.m. Pacific time, 3.41 a.m. Eastern time. And as you can see, recovery operations are proceeding very well. Everything is... Uh, 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 everything is going according to plan, or as we like to say around here, nominal. And uh, we can see the recovery vessel continues to approach Dragon Endeavor and the recovery team there on the vessel standing by uh, as we await the um, hoist of the Dragon spacecraft onto the aft end of the vessel. I can say once uh, we make the final approach here to the uh, the Dragon spacecraft, the hoisting actually happens. Uh, it always takes me by surprise just how fast it is because uh, you can't really see the full size of the hydraulic lift uh, or hoist there at the aft end of the of the recovery vessel, but it's pretty big and and pretty strong. So we're able to uh, lift the, the spacecraft out of the water. We can see there that the uh, lines, the guidelines um, are attached and they're gonna line everything up here for the final approach and ultimately the lift uh, into the, the, the nest there located at the, the back of the vessel. So we can see Dragon Endeavor, um, the, the gap is closing between Dragon Endeavor and our recovery vessel, Shannon. Once again, we had an on-time splashdown off the coast of San Diego, California, that occurred at 12.41 a.m. Pacific time. All four crew members of Crew 11 are still in our Dragon spacecraft. 
moments ago when the spacecraft was turned the other way, we could actually see... Uh, Dragon SpaceX, rigging complete approximately five minutes until capsule lift. Dragon copies, five minutes to lift. All right, good call out there. Just keeping the the crew there inside Dragon Endeavor apprised of the timeline. Um, while there are windows, it is a little hard to see exactly everything that's going on outside of those windows at this point, as there is quite a bit of action as we have been following along. We can see now that the hydraulic lift has been extended into the initial lifting position. And this is the mechanism that will um, bring Dragon out of the water and onto the nest there at the back of the recovery vessel. We'll also see the recovery team member, I think you can still, yeah, you can still see them there on the front. Um, they're actually standing in the, the bay where the main parachutes are stored as a quite a large bay. Now they're climbing up to the top and shortly we'll see them make some final adjustments and um, a final graceful flying departure from Dragon Endeavor. for a capsule lift. Group bracing. Now, as you can see, the recovery teams are preparing to lower the vessel's hydraulic lift mechanism, and that's going to bring the spacecraft into the on-deck translation system, also known as the nest. Dragon will remain in the nest during crew extraction and then for the journey back to port. Again, all of this coming right after splashdown at 2.41 a.m. Central Time, right on time, and a really expedient recovery, partially thanks to uh, the calm sea states and great weather that is out in the uh, San Diego area right now, but also due to the swift and uh, very well-skilled and practiced efforts of the NASA and SpaceX recovery teams. The spacecraft is now being lifted. It'll be set on the nest and centered. It'll be oriented so that uh, the side hatch is facing forward for the crew to egress. It'll be moved into the hangar underneath that helipad that you see illuminated in green on the top of the ship uh, and then pulled towards the uh, mezzanine area so that the crew can be helped outside of the hatch. Once open, a SpaceX medical doctor will be the first to check in on Cardman. Fink, Yui, and Platinov, our Crew 11 crew members, and see if they're ready for egress or exiting the vehicle. This is a standard procedure for all of our crew returns. In this view coming from the recovery vessel, as you see Dragon, and at the very bottom, that is the nest in which we were discussing, and that's where Dragon will remain now and all the way back to port. <laughs> 